In one of my Dungeons & Dragons games, the party had just completed a major quest line. I can't remember what it was exactly, something about stopping an evil necromancer from enslaving all free men and casting the world in a shadow of a thousand years of torment to which the only freedom would be the sweet release of death, blah 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 blah, nothing you haven't heard before. I'll just skim over that part. Instead, we start with a party hanging around town, doing some shopping. However, in this town, magic was banned, so we could buy any items we wanted, just nothing that was magical. So you know, none of the stuff we actually wanted. It sucked also because we were playing 4th edition D&D, and the way that game was set up was you really had to have some magical items in that game since the monsters were designed to be weak to those items, which you were supposed to have. If you didn't have them, you were in a tight spot. The group decided to find where the black market is and buy some magical swag. Hey Solomon, do you want to come? Nah, I said, I'm cool, I'll just stay at home and hang out here. And the GM goes, um, no, no you don't, and starts pushing me out the door. And I realize, oh, that's, that's where the plot is going, isn't it? All aboard! You know what, funny thing, on second thought, I think I will go with you guys. It's good to have a cleric around when people are about to be stabbed to death, which I, I mean, I'm, I'm sure isn't going to happen, even though we're heroes going to the underground criminal market. Maybe it's going to be one of those nice black markets where they sell poison cotton candy and ball pits filled with live grenades. You'd think it'd be hard to find the black market, but nope. Every seller we talked to is like, hmm, I don't care if that thing you're looking for, but if you checked out the black market, I'm sure you could find it there. I don't have this, but why don't you check out the black market? I go there all the time. You could probably get a good deal if you check the black market. Everyone's talking about like it's the friendly local Walmart, only if Walmart wasn't as sketchy. So we very easily get to it. It's a sprawling underground complex with these stands set up selling their wares. We start wandering around and shopping. Eventually we get stopped by the Assassin's Guild, who are basically reverse police officers. They protect the illegal activities. Well, we get stopped and we think we'll just talk our way out of it. Well, we forgot the fact that one of our members of our little party is a paladin. So it's like bringing your police officer friend in when you decide to have a chat with a mafia. So they started asking some questions to our paladin, which we'll call Relthorn just to keep him safe. And he's trying to deflect it by saying, what, me? I'm, I'm not a paladin. Who, who's thinking I'm a paladin, am I right? I should also mention that this character is wearing his full paladin outfit and uniform. So it wasn't hard to figure out. Then they started asking to see his crest, which he was hiding on his back as he was leaning up against a wall. And he kept trying to deflect the question, but they wouldn't stop asking and he was in a really tight spot. He started to panic going, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, trying to think of a solution. And then Relthone goes, oh, and he has an epiphany. Wait a second, I've got a plan. What are you going to do? I ask him. Don't worry, it's a little crazy, but if I play my cards right, it just might work. So Rolthorn goes, <clears throat> pulls his sword and stabs one of the assassins through the chest. Yeah, cause that'll defuse the situation. Immediately a fight breaks out. Arrows are being shot, people are being stabbed, heads are being smashed, I'm around. It's a giant murder fest. All the vendors and customers rush out to the exits and flee, causing chaos onto the upper streets. Eventually, the town guards track the chaos back down to the black market and start confiscating gear and go around to arresting whoever is left in there, including us. Now, the guards are actually pissed off about having to do this. When we get put in jail, the Inquisitor is brought before us and reveals that the town council and guards secretly knew that the black market was down there the whole time. However, it was the lifeblood of the town. And since a group of adventurers came in and ruined everything, now the town is going to have no money, everything is going to dry up, widows will go homeless, children will starve, and it's all our fault. I should mention, this was supposedly a moral dilemma for us. Yeah, I don't think anyone in the party batted an eyelash. Yeah, if the town's lifeblood is a black market, then they all deserve to get actual honest jobs working as slaves in the Underdark. Hold on a second, I said to the Inquisitor. Some stuff is not quite making sense to me. All of the people in the town knew about the black market, right? Mm-hmm. And the town council knew about the black market, right? Mm-hmm. What was the black market the black market from? What do you mean? Well, if you... If you have a black market, it has to be a black market from something. Like, if the government doesn't agree with the market and wants to shut it down, then you have then you have a black market. But, but if the government is okay with the goods being traded, then it isn't, isn't the black market anymore. It's, it's, like, it's like the definition of a black market. Well, magic is illegal. So that's why you have an underground trade for magic. I know, wares. I know, but you guys in the town council have complete control over the laws. And you guys are okay with the magic, and the people are okay with magic. Why don't you, I don't know, just 
make it legal and get rid of the black market. But where do we make money from? The illegal trade is the lifeblood of this town. How would we make any money? Why don't you just sell the goods normally? Yeah, but that's illegal. <sighs> I'm trying to be patient. This isn't hard. You guys are the ones who set up the rules, right? Just make it legal so you can buy magical goods. W well, then we lose the black market. Where would we sell things? Oh, I don't know. Maybe just open up a regular goddamn market and sell magical goods like normal people? Uh, yes, but that's against the law. Oh my god, this is like talking to a blacksmith and him asking me where all these swords come from! You do realize I'm called the Inquisitor, right? You do know what Inquisitors do, right? They are... Uh... Gather information, yes, and you have gotten quite a lot of good information out of me, haven't you? You you are doing your job very spectacularly, if if I must say. Hmm, I don't quite understand what you've been trying to explain to me, but it sounds like you're saying something along the lines of, Hey, Inquisitor, I don't think I've been tortured enough. Okay, never mind. I totally understand. It makes perfect sense. I was actually wrong the whole time. Really? I still don't know why they decided to have a black market. I think there was some mystique about it, like, Oh, we're gonna go to the black market and go shopping! Yay! That sounds like fun! I'm gonna invite Chelsea! No one likes Chelsea! Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.